Kathy, hand sanitizers are in big demand, especially during the H1N1 pandemic. So I teamed up with a local microbiologist to find out just how effective they are. Here's what we found. Whether they're green or orange, name brand or generic, every hand sanitizer promises to do the same thing, kill nearly 100% of germs. But do they always work as advertised? To find out, we bought several types of hand sanitizers and brought them here to Broadwater Elementary School to test on 5th and 6th graders. Fresh from recess, students are excited for the evaluation. One says his hands are at their dirtiest. During a gym, cause, or like while we're playing dodgeball or like capture the chicken outside. Another thinks she knows who will have the dirtiest hands. The boys, because <laughs> they're mostly playing football and mm, they don't really wash their hands that much. <laughs> Microbiologist David Butler starts our experiment by swabbing dirty fingers and collecting the germs into petri dishes. Then the children rub their hands with the sanitizers and have their fingers swabbed a second time. The next step is to incubate the petri plates at uh, 37 degrees centigrade or body temperature, 98 degrees uh, Fahrenheit for about 48 hours and we should see colonies of cells growing up at that point. After three days, the results were in. Some of the results were impressive in that there was many more microorganisms before they washed their hands than after. In other cases, the differences were, were hardly noticeable at all. These three sanitizers proved to be the most effective. The wipes and spray also did a good job, while the foam left more germs on students' hands. But the general trend was that the hand sanitizers, all of them, killed microorganisms. Local health officials agree that hand sanitizers can be effective, but they say nothing cleans your hands better than good old-fashioned soap and hot water. Back to you.